जयसवाल नीको इंडस्ट्रीज लिमिटेड सिंधारा Jaiswal Nico Industries Limited which started in 1976 as a small scale iron foundry unit at Nagpur is the flagship company of Nico Group of Industries which has now become an integrated steel plant of 1 million ton capacity through blast furnace route sinter plant oxygen plant coke oven power generation with one of the finest infrastructural facilities at its Siltara Raipur plant It produces alloy steel bars from 23 to 100 mm, flats in the series of 70, 80, 90 inch sizes, and coils from 5 to 32 mm. It also has its own coal and iron ore mines in the state of Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand, and has undertaken setting up of thermal power stations of 3,240 megawatt in the state of Chhattisgarh and 500 megawatt in Jharkhand in the next few years. Jaiswal Nico Industries Limited is a successful and fast growing integrated steel plant in the industrial belt of Raipur. Jaiswal Nico creates value added products and the product mix is widely consumed by automobile sector, white goods sector, engineering sector, commercial sector and other manufacturing sectors. We being an integrated steel plant have our own units such as blast furnace sinter plant coke oven direct reducing iron plant steel melting shops power plants and rolling mills the various units in processing the final product are raw material handling system raw material handling plant is meant for transporting materials from raw material yard base mix yard to various process units of the plant the major raw materials required for iron and steel making are iron ore lump iron ore fines sized iron ore flux limestone dolomite manganese quartzite coking coal non coking coal and coke lump iron ores iron ore fines and flux such as limestone and dolomite received by railway rig are unloaded in wagon tipler and stored in open storage yard with the help of various stockyard machines The railway exchange yard at Jaiswal Nico consists of one railway exchange yard contains three numbers of inward and two numbers of drawn out lines for rakes. This rakes are tippled in a wagon tippler of 110 metric ton which has 13 wagon per hour capacity. Through receiving hoppers to conveyor and stacker come reclaimer it's stacked in yard in pile height of 11 meters. Feeding of the stack material from yard to blast furnace and sinter stock house is done by this stacker cum reclaimer. Reclaiming capacity for iron ore is 650 metric ton per hour and 250 metric ton per hour for coke. Blast furnace Jaiswal Nico Industries Limited Siltara Raipur has the most modern 680 metric cube blast furnace with state of the art technology. commissioned in 1996 by Shanghong Steel Corporation has a capacity of 7 lakh ton per annum the blast furnace is mainly used for reduction of iron ore into hot metal which is further casted in pig casting machine and dispatched to the different foundries and steel melting shop in 2004 the blast furnace was upgraded by adding bellless top system for better distribution of the raw materials inside the blast and in 2005 pulverized coal injection system was added replacing the metallurgical coke which is the costliest raw material the salient features of the blast furnace are sinter plant in the sintering process various raw materials like iron ore fines coke breeze flux limestone burnt lime dolomite fines and other resin plant wastes like return sinters mill scale etc are mixed in pre calculated proportions and nebulized into size granules in two stage process of mixing and boiling drum using water the high temperature reached by the coke combustion causes partial melting of the bed material as the air passes through the bed it causes upper hot layer to cool resulting in formation of porous sinter the speed of the machine is regulated in such that the high temperature zone of fusion reaches the great layer as the material reaches the discharge end of the machine the gas is generated in the bed by coke combustion calcination of the flux etc 
pass off under the bed as waste gas into the wind legs and finally passed in the wind main. These gases are then cleaned of dust by making them pass through ESPs and then discharged to the atmosphere through a chimney. Jaiswal Nico Industries Limited is having two DRI plants, one 350 and second 500 tons per day capacity. Jaiswal Nico uses the SLRN process for the production of DRI. The SLRN process is of the type solid reductant in granular bed. The direct reduction involves reduction of iron ore in solid phase by gases reducing agents such as carbon monoxide and hydrogen at high temperatures. The total process takes place for reduction of Fe2O3 into Fe is 12 hours in the kin and 2 hours for indirect cooling of DRI from 1000 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade temperature. The product so obtained is called DRI with the nomenclature of DRI lumps having size 5 to 18 mm and DRI fines having size 0 to 5 mm. And the Dolochar obtained as byproduct, which is 100% utilized by captive power plant of Jaiswal Nico Industries Limited. Flue gas generated during the process passes waste heat recovery boiler to produce power. Coke oven. Coal from coal tower is drowned in mobile hopper situated on stamping machine. Coal is spread on sole plate and stamped for making cake of 1000 mm height in three layers. Stamped coal cake is charged into scheduled oven after pushing ready coke of that particular oven. After charging of the cake, air inflow and suction in the oven is regulated in different intervals to control the fire. After completion of carbonization which takes place around 60 to 66 hours, coke is pushed in the quenching car tray. Hot coke is quenched in quenching tower for about 3 to 4 minutes. After draining the water, coke is dumped on the wharf. From wharf, coke is fed to grizzly feeder to coke cutter at control rate through belt conveyors. Power plant. Power plant at Jaiswal Nico has a unique flexibility of heat input to the boilers starting from fossil fuel to biomass, waste hot flue gas, delosher and blast furnace gas. All the turbines are driven with superheated steam. For process steam requirement, bleed steam is drawn from the turbine. Steam at the exhaust is condensed and converted to water which is used as boiler feed water and the cycle goes on. All the activities of starting and stopping of the boilers and turbines are done from the control room equipped with DCS and PLC controllers. Running parameters to regulate the rate of steam generation according to power generation is controlled from the control room. The totalizing generation of power as installed is 65 megawatt which enables self-power consumption for processes in various section of the steel plant and further export of power to the state electricity board. Steel Melting Shop Jaiswal Nico is having energy optimizing furnace for steel making with 85% hot metal as charge material along with fluxes and DRI. EOF is having cojet mechanism for 100% pure oxygen blowing so with utilizing chemical energy from reaction of carbon from hot metal and oxygen from cojet blowing generates exothermic heat responsible for temperature rising and DRI is being used as coolant. This reaction ensures negligible tramp element in steel. Further, after coke injection, the heat is tapped in ladle through eccentric bottom tapping mechanism which ensures slack-free tapping. During tapping, charging 80% of ferro alloys is being done. After that, heat goes for secondary metallurgy treatment in ladle refining furnace along with vacuum degassing tank type. Ensures desired chemistry and slack characteristic with optimum level of cleanliness in steel. In vacuum degassing, heat is under vacuum 
under argon purging so each and every part of heat exposed to vacuum for deoxidation and lowest inclusion level. After that, ladle is transferred to turret for continuous casting. The caster at Jaiswal Nico has 3-strand caster with 6 to 11 meter radius with module electromagnetic stirrer. Jaiswal Nico ensures 100% close casting from ladle to tundish and tundish to mold. The mold EMS is being used for excellent internal soundness of the billet bloom. Jaiswal Nico is also having automatic mold level controller to ensure excellent surface as well as internal quality of blooms or billets. Jaiswal Nico offer billet or bloom size of 130 by 130, 160 by 160 and 180 by 180 mm. Jaiswal Nico is presently dealing with around 100 grades of alloy steel for critical automobile application. After billet inspection and four-phase surface dressing, billets or blooms are being charged into respective mills. Bar Mill The Bar Mill at Jaiswal Nico is one of its kind in India which uses blast furnace gas as fuel. All the rolled products in different shapes consumerate to customer's requirement in flats, rounds, round corner squares are rolled in bar from our own rolling mills where all process activities are being monitored by quality assurance team. Bar mill is having combination of vertical and horizontal configuration to ensure uniform deformation, dimension and properties along the length and X section of the product. Bar mill reheating furnace is using blast furnace gas as a fuel which ensures optimum O2 minimizing scaling and decarbonization in furnace atmosphere which leads practically to very low decarbonization. Capacity of reheating furnace is 25 tons per hour. Wire Rod Mill In line with our corporate philosophy to expand our product range to offer a complete product basket to the customer, Jaiswal Nico now also offers wire rods in 5.5 mm to 32 mm diameters. Wire rod mill plant is equipped with latest technology. This mill is equipped with advanced rolling equipment such as reducing and sizing mill, high speed shear pinch rollers and laying heads along with controlled temperature rolling and controlled cooling to meet the processing requirements of various grades of carbon and alloy steel. This results in improved mechanical properties due to finer and more uniform grain size suitable for rapid spherodizing annealing or high yield strength with optimal scale weight and tie. Jaiswal Nico's wire rods come with promise of high quality and dimensional precision. The mill is equipped with coil reforming technology which ensures that the coils are shipped with educate care and reach customers with excellent coil stability without any damage. We continue to improve and innovate to produce the best of quality and develop systems that can deliver our products to your doorstep in excellent condition. Bright Bar Facility Jaiswal Nico is having full-length Bright Bar Facility by peeling and grinding route followed by magnetic particle inspection for Indian railways and critical automobile manufacturers. After rolling and annealing, the material is fed to straightening machine and further it is peeled in two peeling machines. After peeling material is sent to straightening for removal of any bent and minimizing heavy peeling marks. After straightening, rolled product is sent to semi-finished grinding operation of around 0.5 mm removal to achieve better tolerance. Annealing facility the continuous annealing line is equipped with both advanced electrically heated annealing furnace with protective atmosphere for annealing and spherodization annealing with capacity of 20 tons which enables the new facility to produce a wide range of high strength steel currently used in the industry. Jaiswal Nico Industries Limited has its very own underground and open cast mines in eastmost sub blocks in Gare area located in southeastern part of Mand Raigarh coalfield with an annual capacity of 1 million ton per annum. Quality Assurance Quality is synonymous to Nico's products. In fact, 
the company casts quality and confidence to its valued customers. The company has a quality assurance department for each of the above units with separate heads for each sphere of activity such as chemical analysis, physical testing, visual and dimensional inspection, non-destructive testing, packing and dispatch. All product units that is blast furnace, DRI, SMS, rolling mill along with services are accredited to quality systems by DNB. At its steel plant division, quality assurance department is fully equipped with system for monitoring the process and product quality of big iron. Similarly, the steel plant is also equipped with latest equipment such as Product lineup at Jaiswal Nico. Jaiswal Nico produces steel billets and blooms, rolled products like rounds, round corner square, flats, wire rods, TMT and bright bars. Networks and offices. Jaiswal Nico has a network of offices in the country to efficiently cater to our esteemed and vast clients spread throughout the country. Expansion in progress. Known for its commitment to provide the latest, Jaiswal Nico is already constructing rupees 3,700 crore state-of-the-art steel mill, comprising of EAF, LRF, Bloom, Slab Caster, AOD, BOD, and Blooming Mill to make steel for critical auto components, stainless steel, valve steel, and heavy-duty structurals. Jaiswal Nico Industries Limited is committed to its social responsibility towards the society and has various activities and projects in 43 gram panchayats under its CSR scheme. We are committed to ensuring zero harm to our employers, contractors and the communities in which we operate. This is an integral part to our business process and is laid down in our health and safety policies, standards and working procedures. Jaiswal Nico Industry Limited has over the years undertaken extensive research in making the process of steel making more energy efficient, economically viable and environmentally sustainable. Do contact us for your requirements at the following address. <laughs> Oh,